In this episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be doing a detailed step-by-step -step installation and wiring of this Anytime front camera kit on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's included in this kit. All these products will be included in the description box below. Here are the two packages that came with the Anytime camera kit. One package is for the camera and one is for the cabin. The cabin package came with the override harness, the front and rear harness that will connect to the switch, switching relay with the three RCA cables, video harness with the RCA cable and the front and rear switch. The camera package comes with the mounting hardware for the grill, camera harness that will connect to the cabin harness, camera installation manual, and of course, the premium camera itself. Before starting the installation, let's first go over some important information for this project. It should be noted that connecting as many of the wiring and harnesses outside the truck as possible will make for an easier installation. Let's use this premium camera as a starting point. This will be at the front of the vehicle but for illustration purposes, I will temporarily connect this to the other harnesses on this kit. These mounting screws will be used later. Grab the camera harness and you'll notice that it has a male RCA cable with a red wire coming out of it. A black female connector and a black and red wire. Connect the black female connector with the premium camera male end. You're gonna need to align the arrows together to connect these. For the black and red wire, we won't be using the red wire so we'll shrink tube this and connect the black wire to the grounding screw on the truck's engine bay. As for the male RCA with the red cable, we need to connect this to the green wire and one of the female RCAs of the switching relay. Choose the RCA without the black marking on it. And tie the red and green wires for now. For the black wire, we will ground this on the interior of the truck. The remaining RCA cables from the switching relay will then connect to the RCAs from the video harness. One of these female connectors should have the black mark on it. The blue and grey wire on this will connect to the blue and grey wire of the front and rear harness, while the pin connectors will connect to the back of the truck entertainment system. Similarly, the override harness pin connectors will go to the back of the entertainment system and the red and orange will connect to the red and orange of the front and rear harness. So color match the wires and connect the black wire of the front and rear harness to the black wire of the switching relay. We're gonna need to add a ring connector to this. For the green wires, this will be the only time that a different color will be connected as the red wire coming out of the male RCA cable before will be connected to this. Lastly, this will end with the front and rear switch that will install on one of the blank spots of our center console. For a recap, switch connects to the front and rear harness with multiple colored wires, then color match to the other colored wires, combine the ground wires, connect the RCA cables, and connect the front camera. Now it's time to connect the wires together. You're gonna need wire connectors, hitch ring tubing, and a torch or a heat gun. Let's start with grabbing a shrink tube to cover the unused red wire from the camera harness. Simply place the tube over the red wire and we'll apply heat to it later. Next, to connect the color match wires together, I'm using the solder seal wire connectors. This will allow for a secure connection as the heat will cause the ring solder to melt and connect the two wires together. I'm grabbing four 24 gauge ones and one 22 gauge one. Simply insert the wires on each side and we'll apply heat to it. For 
Remember that for the green one, we'll need to connect the other green wire from the switching relay, plus the red wire coming out of the RCA cable. Listen. For the ground, we need to add a ring terminal to this, and we'll combine the ground from the front and rear harness and the switching relay. Grab your torch and set it to its lowest setting. Then simply heat up each connector until the solder melts and the connection is secure. Repeat this for all other connections we added. Don't forget the shrink tube we added at the start of the step. After adding the wire connectors, let's now add the end terminals to our ground wires. We need this to connect the wires to our truck's engine bay and entertainment system. Grab your soldering iron and two end terminals and start with installing one on the ground wires coming out of the camera harness. Simply add a small amount of solder to secure this connection. For the other connector, combine the ground wires from the switching harness and the front and rear harness. Then repeat the soldering process and complete the terminal end installation. After connecting the wires and installing the end terminals, we need to remove the blank switch from the center console of the Tacoma. Unplug the front camera from the rest of the wires and head over to the Tacoma. You're also going to need your drill and a 10mm socket for this step. We need to remove the center panel to access the bolts of the entertainment system. To remove the center panel, we need to pull on the side applying even pressure. This should come off fairly easily. Put this to the side and grab your drill with a 10mm socket and remove the four bolts around the screen. We need this to access the climate control panel below. Careful not to lose these bolts in the process. Then pull the climate control panel from the side while lifting the screen lightly. You're gonna need to unlatch the plastic part on the left side to completely take off the climate control panel. After this, you now have access to the back of the blank switch. Simply push the tabs in and out from the back to remove the blank switch. Put this aside and reinstall the climate control panel. Simply line up the tabs with the panel, push it in until the tabs all click in. Now it's time to connect the harnesses and the ground wires inside the Tacoma. Grab a microfiber cloth and lay this on your shift knob. Then pull the entertainment screen down and carefully seat it on top of the cloth. We're gonna need to remove these two pin connectors on the back, one gray one and one white one. This view is from the passenger seat. Let's start by removing the gray connector. Simply push this tab down and pull out. Then grab your wiring harnesses and look for the harness with the red and orange cable. Connect the female end of the gray pin connector we just removed. Then plug the male end back to the entertainment screen. Make sure that you hear the click to ensure proper connection. Repeat this on the other pin connector. We're gonna connect the harness with the blue and gray wires to this, similar to what we did with the gray pin connector. Tuck the wires to the back, and we'll need to fish the front and rear harness to the blank switch location later. As for the ground wire with the two black cable, we need to connect this to the side of the entertainment screen. Remove one of the bolts and connect the end terminal to it, allowing for a secured ground connection. The 
next step in this installation is running the cables from the entertainment system to the footwell and the blank switch location of your Tacoma. Similar to my other videos, I'm using an HDMI cable as a fishing tool. Simply run the HDMI cable through the corner, down to the driver's footwell area until you can reach and pull it from the bottom. Then secure the rest of the camera harness cables to the HDMI cable using wire ties. Then start pulling it down the hole. Pull the slack out to allow for an easier cable management. Then remove the wire ties and repeat this process for the front and rear harness. You're going to need to feed the HDMI cable through the blank switch location until you can reach it from the top. Then tie the harness and pull it down to the switch hole. Listen. After this, grab some zip ties and cable manage the harnesses before reinstalling the entertainment screen back. Reinstall the four 10mm bolts and secure the plastic trim. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Similar to the previous step, we're also going to need to run the wires from the truck's interior into the engine bay. You're going to need a sharp cutter for this step. This is required so we can install the front camera on our grill. We need to pull this carpet back around the cutouts and slice a small hole on this rubber grommet about the size of the wire you're going to run into the engine bay. While cutting, ensure you take care not to damage any other wires. I try to stay on the outermost side of the rubber grommet. This is the location of the grommet looking in from the engine bay. Put your knife away and simply insert the wires at the hole you just made. Do this until you can pull it from the engine bay. Then pop your hood and pull the rest of the slack of the camera harness wires. The next step of this installation is grounding the camera harness wires to the engine bay. You're going to need your drill and a 10mm socket for this step. Grab your grounding wire and let's start connecting it to this grounding bolt of the Tacoma. Simply loosen this bolt up and secure the grounding wire. Then tighten the bolt back and cable manage the rest of the camera harness. We're going to connect the premium camera wire to this later, similar to the demonstration at the start of the video. The last step of this installation is to mount the premium camera to your grill. Depending on how you want to mount your camera, the installation manual specifies proper placement with appropriate colored wires to cut. In my case, I'm installing mine in a vertical position. For the mounting location, I'm drilling at this location to make sure it's not affecting the TSS sensor function. For those who doesn't have a TSS sensor, you can mount this right at the middle. Grab your drill, 5 16th bit, marker and some tape, and mark out your drill location. I'm using a piece of tape as a stencil for how far to install the camera under the grill. This is to make sure that it's not sticking out. I will then transfer this tape on the grill and mark that location. Carefully drill through the plastic grill. Insert the premium camera cable and pull it up until the threaded bolt is through the hole. Then grab the lock nut 
insert the black wire through it, and secure the premium camera on the grill. After this, run the cables along the side of the engine bay and connect the male end to the black female end connector of the camera harness. You're gonna need to align the arrows together to connect these. Then grab your scissors and cut the white and green wires to make sure the orientation is good and that the guidelines are gone. Don't cut the green wire if you want the guidelines to remain. Close your hood, put away your tools, and enjoy your brand new anytime front and rear camera. Lastly, install the switch and test the anytime camera. Simply grab the switch and connect it to the front and rear harness. Then install the switch to the blank slot. Turn your car on and press the front button. As you can see, the front view works great with no guidelines. Pressing the back view allows you to access the rear camera without being on reverse. As you can see, putting the truck in reverse still works great. Here's a video of me accessing the camera front view while driving. Here's the rear camera while driving. This is great for checking trailers. Also great for parking at stalls. And for parking behind vehicles. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this anytime camera installation. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you on the next one.